I see all these clowns, their guru business, and they look at it as such a low. I know how empty that vessel is. You know what I mean? There's got to be, I mean, got to be people out there beating on you, getting information, following you up. Mm -hmm. I mean, I see all these clowns um, with their, their guru business, and they look at it as such a low um, inventory business, for lack of a better word. It's like they they have no personnel. They have no office space. They have no sales team. They have no nothing. So they're going to shoot content one time and try to sell it to you for the next 10 years or whatever it is. That's great. Why don't you hire sales staff to do it? Oh, it'll cut into my margin. You ain't got no margin if the zero, Bo. Like, yeah. nobody buys it. You ain't got no margin. Well, I, I've never understood that. Like, why would you not want more volume? You know? So what if it eats into your margin? You've got more volume. It makes up for it. They're, they're too afraid to hire. They can't train. And they have no loyalty. Like, they're, they're, their concern is that they train you up. Next thing you know. You're, you're their competitor. You're their competitor. Well, it's like what you've always said, though. If you pay people what they're worth, they're not going to want to. But true, but I mean, but it, but pay, it, yeah, that won't stop certain people from leaving. Yeah. But you wouldn't want them to be there anyways. No, well, pay isn't the pay isn't the necessary reason why people really stay stay. I mean, pay will will help, but not everybody. Um, opportunity and the opportunity to learn and grow and do bigger things, um, always be growing, and it's hard to do that when you're already thinking about your margin. Like the guru sitting here concerned about their margin, so they won't hire a sales team. They won't invest in their sales team to give them a proper training. They have some fucking mentee program or something they're trying to sell and it's just them trying to do it they're a small thinker they don't have a business they couldn't scale it if they wanted to and then they're going to try to convince old spoonie here to give them 10 grand i would say the guy that you paid i think he does have a business i think he does have a sales team i think he does oh he did they worked me through that like i understand that the, the yeah. uh, funnel they worked me through now like and yeah. i think he's out of it now because of some other trouble i think he sold that to brent and those other guys Really? Um, yeah, I don't think he's part of it anymore. Or if but, he is, he's a small minority but, partner. But they have a sales team, and that's what it takes. Like, I wouldn't – like, um, I'm thinking about right now, at least been thinking about – oh, Kitty's calling. Um, been thinking about this whole deal and, like, you know, how to help people and how to how to get people in front and how to, you know, create another Braxton. And, you know, every time I ask about it, I get told that it's not legal to do. Because of what I want to do, I want to. Like if Braxton comes to me, he's like, "Hey, I want to learn real estate." I'm like, "Great." It's like I'll pay you ten grand to teach me, and I'm like, "Okay, you can pay me ten grand, but we're gonna go partner on a deal." You know what I mean? So you pay me ten grand, and then we go partner on a deal. 